Like yeah. he was cooking and yeah. she tries to come yeah, and she holds him and he pushes yeah. her back. I know. I know. Is it on now? Yeah. Welcome back to Spoonsville. Welcome. <laughs> Today we're covering Oh Take This Take Waltz. This Waltz. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh it's a Canadian film. It is a Canadian film. Yeah. It's my turn to do the 22nd oh, thing yeah, you're oh, forgetting. Yeah. Ah, stop, stop, stop for them. Stop them while I uh, get it all set up. No, I don't know what to do. Oh. Okay, brief synopsis, 20 seconds to explain the movie, just for a refresher or for people that haven't seen it, but don't care to get things spoiled. They're, you know, um, yeah, okay. So then they're on. Okay, all right, and go. The movie is about a couple. The wife is... Ah! She wants things, and the husband doesn't give the... Uh, don't look, don't like, look, don't I look, don't look. Keep going, keep going. I can't! It's like some six seconds. Okay, give me... I'll, okay, I'll take a shot. Okay. okay, the movie follows a married couple. The wife is unhappy, basically. Hmm. They are in love, but she wants certain things. Intimacy, something, but like she doesn't actually express what it is that she wants. We have an idea of what she wants. So basically, yeah, she's not completely happy in the relationship anymore. Four seconds left. And then there's a guy that comes into the picture and... Uh, <laughs> That's fine. Too hard. We'll rip off that. There's a guy next door. <laughs> she um, meets at one while she's working mm. and she writes for tourist websites. She's a writer for tourist websites mm. and she's doing a story. Um, she's traveled to some part of Can Canada. This is a Canadian film. And she meets this guy and they're interested in each other instantly. Mm. Sparks fly and then... The entire movie just basically follows them try toying with the idea of being together or trying not to go through with their feelings, what they feel, or act on their feelings for each other, which are very clear. Mm. She's married. She doesn't want to cheat. She doesn't want to leave the husband. She's gonna. She's worried about hurting him. Um, and so as they interact, she keeps like you know going back to the husband and trying to yeah like you know you know ignite this reignite the sparks that yeah. she see feels are missing in their relationship. Yeah. In the hopes of um, not cheating and in the hopes of her, like, if maybe her the spark, she re manages to reignite the sparks with the husband, then maybe she'll forget about the guy. But the husband doesn't take the bait. Yeah. And she does end up cheating, no. basically. Or in fact, does she cheat? She, no. actually, she actually ends up, she doesn't cheat, but leaves the husband, yeah. ultimately. Uh, yeah, that's Depends funny. what you can consider cheating. I guess it depends on what you Only consider cheating. slightly yeah. over 20 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it could say, yeah, it depends on what you consider cheating. Yeah. But there's this, yeah, it is so much. I never heard anything about it. Unfortunately, like uh, like a lot of Canadian movies, they just fly. There's no big radar, completely slips under the giant radar. Which is interesting completely. because Seth Rogen is in it. Yeah. And Sarah he's Silverman. big. Michelle Williams is in Michelle there. Michelle Williams. Yeah. And that guy, yeah. what's his name? What's Who's that guy? Luke. Luke. I haven't actually seen him in a lot of movies, but yeah. he probably is. Probably in something. We should put a picture of yeah, him we'll there and, and his name too. Put it. Um, yeah, so it is, you would have, yeah. I, I don't know, like maybe it was big. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah, maybe it, it is was. an old movie. Yeah. Maybe at the time it was big. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. So it, good. Yeah, it is. So good. It, it's, it's, a, it's a good movie. I feel like this movie is just one of those movies that... Uh, a lot of people are going to have extremely conflicting views mm. because we talked about how, you know, well, okay, what is cheating, right? Right. Because they never kiss before she's married, sure. um, before she leaves yeah. Lou. Yeah. I mean, the husband, yeah. whose name I can't... It is, it is Lou. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, like they never get intimate. Yeah. However, there is that longing, there's that pining, there is mm. fantasizing verbally there's to lying. each other about what could be said. There's lying involved yeah. too. Um, there's almost physical intimacy yeah. and, you know, there is that connection that they both entertain. Yeah. So that could also be cheating, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Um, but at, at the same time, there's that effort on her end yeah. to yeah. try not to, that recognition yeah. that she, um, made a commitment yeah. and to her, her, her husband who she cares about yeah. and doesn't want to hurt. Yeah. Um, and there's also... It's, it's really tricky, right? Mm -hmm. Because, like, Lou's sister in the end is like, you know, life is hard. Basically, something like life is hard. You just yeah. don't, like, up and leave it. And, yeah. okay, well, if you don't like this little slice of life, yeah. this part, bit, this section of, or this chapter of your life, yeah. when it, it doesn't go as much as yeah. the way that you want it to, yeah. doesn't mean you leave. Yeah. You know, you have an entire, there's a book, yes. you know, and the chapters <laughs> change, basically, which yeah. I totally yeah. understand. Yeah. Although then one could say, but... 
it's kind of unfair to to lay the complete blame of the mm-hmm. marriage ending on her yeah. alone. Yeah. And I say this because truly she made she tried yeah, she did she tried like crazy. And they show that they really tried. They to show, show that yeah. yeah she tried like crazy throughout the relationship yeah. to to ignite the sparks to even talk to him yeah. um, about you know like hey let let's uh, let's say something we're not they went out for the yeah. anniversary dinner remember yeah. and. Nothing was happening. They were just literally, yeah. they're just quiet, not saying yeah. anything. And she's, and she's like, so, you know, yeah. which was, she's kind of like making a play on that kind of stuff that people yeah. say when yeah. this is, the conversation yeah. is a little bit weird. Yeah. And then she's like, well, you know, we're not really talking and it's our yeah. anniversary. We're out, yeah. you know? And she, and he's like, well, what am I going to talk to you about? I know everything about you. Yeah. I live with you. There's yeah. nothing new. Yeah. And then she's like, why are which, we out? Yeah, exactly. Well, just for the food and being out to somewhere nice. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah that is a concern yeah. yeah but that's the thing and that's why it's so well done is uh you can understand if he he's if he finds himself in this rut that's where you're gonna think you're like well i mean realistic i'm just being honest here we could have this conversation anytime we do we have it all over so why it is because just because we're out it's our anniversary that we have to now talk and force conversation he's like i don't want to just force conversation just so that we can have a conversation yeah. but at the same time you can understand where she'd be a frustrated because she's like well you know that's we can still talk just because you know everything about me like there's still yeah things we can talk about there's still reasons to engage with each other exactly and that, that yeah that that would be very frustrating as yeah it's just ah you can un- i love movies like that where you can understand everyone's situation you know? yeah i and i i feel like i was completely annoyed with lou um mm-hmm. the husband because this girl tried so hard yeah. you know she yeah. tried so hard to you know, be intimate with him. And, and also she tried to, she initiated, right? You know Mm -hmm. how sometimes, um, guys will be like, Oh, girls don't, a lot of times they don't initiate. And there are lots of societal reasons that that happens where, you know, women don't, you know, kind of maybe struggle a little bit to initiate things. But of course it also does have to do with the, the dynamics of the relationship. Sometimes people, I think even if they love each other, you do have relate people that get are in relationships that where they still don't feel comfortable enough to, you know, to be vulnerable yeah. and ask for what they need. Yeah. Add that to like anything sexual, then it yeah. becomes even harder. Yeah. Um and she, she says that. And she says that. Like she she like, tries for a while. She keeps not, trying repeatedly. Yeah. And she gets to a point where she's like, Do you have any idea how much courage it yeah. takes for me to try it to yeah. make the move? Yeah. Like to make the first move yeah. or you know to and then try and not and then each time you keep proving me right that i shouldn't be or that i, I don't have enough that it's not working that, yeah yeah exactly yeah. and so basically each time you keep knocking me down yeah. and she's like what and he's like what courage do you you need courage to right. do that with your husband right yeah you know so he knocks yeah. her down each time there's yeah. no conversation if you know like if if a husband or a wife yeah. expresses that it takes courage for me to ask you for stuff this is when you sit down and say, honey, like, why, yeah. why does it, what is it that I'm doing that makes you feel afraid to mm-hmm. approach me? Yeah. This is your wife. Your yeah. the hope is that a marriage is going to be that kind of platform where everybody feels safe enough and secure um, enough and that they're in a space of non judgment mm-hmm. where that, um, where they can actually express their needs and wants and be as vulnerable as they as they want and should be without any kind of negative repercussions, yeah. right? That's the point, yeah. I think. Like that's a, what that's really the most what you want yeah. in, a, in a marriage. Yeah. And he doesn't facilitate that. He has this idea that well, we're married, therefore you should already, mm-hmm. you know, like yeah. no, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which and and so they do a good job of not making him too dickish, where you're like, oh yeah, leave him, get out of there. You're making the right choice yeah. because they still overall, you know, like he's. He's really sweet to everybody, all their friends and family, and she's, he's really good to her, but still just not, there's some important things he's struggling with providing her, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and then you've got the other guy who's able to fill those, those parts that she needs, but then, you know, again, uh, you, you see that part, you, and I think that's where sometimes people get tempted or, or long, you know, they, they, they make a choice like that because they think, oh, you know, this, because they they kind of want to take everything that works with this one situation and be like that person also would do the cute fun stuff with me as well but then they could also give me that other thing I need yeah. you know it's a totally different person you know but yeah it's easy to make that assumption and then like the great scene I was we were talking about uh, with the shower 
Um, yeah. Not only is it just like I, I, I liked how they, they they were willing to full on nudity, you know, old old uh, big ladies. Uh, oh old, yeah, the shower scene. Yeah, after the the pool. After the pool exercise. Scene. Yeah, thing. where she peed in the pool, yeah. turned blue. I guess that's what chlorine does, or yeah. someone did that. They do. Yeah, and uh, and it's great. It was a very funny movie. And then uh, yeah, and they're talking about, and then they're basically discussing kind of the theme of the movie, which is you know, do you um. Are you, do you just accept and be satisfied with whatever kind of is your life or do you want to change and how much do you sacrifice or change for something that you need or feel that, you know. Yeah, like they're talking about things getting old. Like they're talking about their relationship, basically, their marriages. These girls are talking about their marriages and, um, yeah, oh, it's kind of boring or it's not as exciting anymore. And then the, one of the, the older ladies, um, also showering mentions, you know, everything gets old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Is, or like new things get old yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. So don't be fooled. Don't be thinking, oh, okay, I'm gonna turn my life around because you know, yeah. here's this other uh, new shiny, new shiny thing. I think there are lots of themes in this movie. That new things get old thing mm-hmm. is one of them. Yeah. So it's like, okay, fine. You are in a relationship. You're in a marriage, and now it's getting old. It's not as exciting as it used to be. I'm going to break up with, I'm going to divorce my mm-hmm. husband. I'm going to find someone new, right? Yeah. So the point then, if you apply that notion of new things get old, that means that relationship too is going to get old yeah. and it's not going to be as exciting yeah. too. I think that is such a narrow-minded way, mm-hmm. <laughs> first of all, yeah. of assessing relational dynamics mm-hmm. or marriage in general. Yeah. Um, I think people have this idea of marriage or relationships where it's supposed to be um, that euphoria that you feel, like the honeymoon phase has to last forever. Mm -hmm. And once that honeymoon phase ends... Yeah, then it's not working anymore. Then then it's not working anymore. There are problems or, okay, well, it's that time again. Or it's that time. Now we're in that old phase where we are just, you know, friends. We don't really Mm -hmm. even talk anymore. We're just married, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And, oh, you know, it's my wife. uh, Or, you know know what I mean? yeah. Yeah, I think people just... And then a lot of people accept it. Like, mm-hmm. it's not even that they cheat or anything. Yeah. I, there's. It seems to me that people think the romance ends mm-hmm. once you get married, and then once you get married, it's over. Yeah. This movie reminded me of um, The Course of Love, right. Alain de Botton. Right, yes. This book, you gotta read good this book. book. We'll <laughs> yeah. Not, not getting paid promotion is just good. You should yeah, it's just good. We just love Alain de Botton. <laughs> in the movie, I mean, in the book, he talks about how everybody always ask how did you meet you yeah. know and the rap the, and that's that's like anything that that's the only thing that people are interested in, in terms of yeah. their relationship yeah like the romance ends once you get married yeah. all the good stuff yeah. you get married okay the good stuff is over they yeah. don't care no one, wants to know. No one asks yeah. how's your marriage going yeah. yeah and so there's never any learning and that's why he said we were listening to this um talk he gives about mm-hmm. the book he s- talks about how he said no one ever teaches you about like no one ever talks about what comes after marriage. After the happily ever after. Yeah, after yeah. the after the ha- happily ever after. What does that look like? Yeah. And also, people have this idea that the, um, that romance ends in you know like in courtship, mm-hmm. right? And that's the only time we have to focus on that. Yeah. And then he also talks about how people have this they romanticize what marriage is supposed to look like, and so if it doesn't look that way, then they're they they they're not happy that they're in a bad marriage, yeah. you know. Um, so all of the things that you watch, like the movies, it's, oh my God, sparks are flying all the time. Yeah. Um, and then they don't think about things like people have issues, you know, people smell or people chew a certain way and it's so annoying or people watch stuff that you hate mm-hmm. and it's annoying yeah. or people come with issues like trauma yeah. and stuff and maybe they might be upset with you and you don't know why, but it's probably because you triggered something from the past that that person hadn't dealt with, but you don't know it. So then in that moment, be sensitive to the fact that this person probably has a past and say, okay, honey, I wasn't trying to hurt you here. And then maybe try and work through it, right? And But it, at the same time, it's for you as a person like to figure out what it is that you're bringing to the table, that kind of stuff. Yeah. The hi- idea of things getting old is problematic to me, you know? Yeah. Like I think in terms of relationships, life... In general, relationships, life in life in general, should never be getting old. Yeah. You grow all the time. That yeah. is the entire point of life. Yeah. I think there are transitions. Your relationship starts a certain way, and then it transitions and progresses. If you're a certain person, I don't think you're static. Mm. I think there's always going to be changes, mm-hmm. and um, you can and, appreciate things in a new way. That's yeah, you appreciate in a new way. Yeah. In a new way, um, and. 
And I think there's, um, what? I don't know why I was laughing. Oh, you had a great run. That. You had a great run. I had a great run. I'll take a <laughs> pause, reflect, yep. regroup. Let, let the next bus go by. Yeah. Just rest. It's kind of dependent too on like what you value. Like the whole point is that you have the one guy. If you're more into just having a, a best friend who you can make laugh and they can make you laugh and you can be totally yourself with, then generally you're going to lean on the set character. And then if you're more into a guy that's honest and just raw, like he can just express himself in, in, in very visceral sexual ways or artistic ways, you know, and he's not about a lot of the kind of the traditional ways of looking at things and, and whatever. He seems like a free spirit. He runs at the uh, at dawn with his rickshaw by the beach or whatever, you know, then you could be like, you know, this is someone that's living every second in the moment, right? So if you consider that more, so, you know, they, they do like to give uh, both kind of sides of, you know, yeah. I think this movie for me, uh, what it illuminated or highlighted was mm -hmm. the importance of communication. Mm -hmm. The relationship wouldn't have, wouldn't have broken down yeah. if both yeah. the the yeah. wife and husband nice. actually talked. Yeah. It really frustrated me because I'm like, first of all, it takes two to tango in a relationship. If a relationship breaks down... Or waltz in this case. Uh, <laughs> to waltz. It takes two to waltz. If a if relationship is good or bad, it depends on two people. If the relationship is bad and maybe one person is trying really hard and the best communicator, super available emotionally, all of these things, and the relationship continues to be bad, it's still his or her fault, that good person, yep. because he's staying in that relationship. He's not getting anything from it. Do you yes. understand what I mean? Oh, I feel you. Yeah. I can't, Talk. I can't really, Communicate. Communicate. I, if I, I say I, I need courage to yeah, be intimate be like, with you, oh, shit. what okay, is it? What, let's, what did we do? What's missing? Let's, and I'm don't gonna, push me away when chicken. you're cooking. Like yeah, he was I'm cooking gonna, and yeah. she tries to yeah, come oh, and she I holds know, him and he yeah. pushes know, her back. I know. I know. But I feel like she her emotional cup was not filled by him. Ah, yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe just kind of like the last bit of coffee that people leave and they can't be bothered to finish it. It's all grindy and grindy. That's how much it filled her cup, yeah. probably. Yeah. yeah, what were you saying? I'm sorry, I cut you off. Reciprocity in a relationship is so important. Mm. Relationships um, are fueled. Like the foundation of relationship, I think, is emotional connectedness. And if it is not there, you know, there is no replenishment. You aren't feeling refreshed every time you're hanging out with a person. You don't feel rejuvenated. You yeah. don't feel just, oh. Yeah. I loved how... It was all the really creative shots. The one time where she's just lying in bed and they're making the time pass and just looked really cool how they did that, the music choice. Anyway, now I'm just going about random stuff I really like, but. Definitely feel like the wife tried a lot and she just kept yeah. not get not get um, getting knocked down. Yeah. And so maybe, you know, sometimes like not, she didn't, maybe, perhaps she yeah. perhaps didn't and have that confidence to keep trying. Yeah. And maybe she would have tried even a few more things had there not already been this allure across the street. For me right now, I'm still, I am looking at this movie voyeuristically. Is that a word, voyeuristically? It is as a, As a voyeur, right? Like you, in that way, in that, in that sense of looking into someone else's life, right? Yeah. I feel like I definitely might, you know, like I'm feeling a little bit tender mm -hmm. about what happened in this marriage, <laughs> you know? So I'm not looking at this as a movie, I'm more like, my feelings right now are based on me looking at this as a voyeur. Um, so, um, so, so I'm struggling to mm. say, okay, 10 out of 10. Right, right. But I should just give it a 10 out of right. 10. I mean, I, I do just because really... Separating again, my feelings. Can, yeah, yeah. Yeah, again, like I love, love the acting, the humor, uh, how it was put together, the story... Uh, all very relatable. Um, yeah. I just loved all, like, really, some of the scenes were just... It's just a lot of creativity, um, a, lot, a lot of great dialogue, the stuff that, again, that, uh, you know, we're just talking about, um, she was walking with her, like, niece, and the niece just gets really upset over seeing, like, a shadow, or it was like, I can't remember, it was something, and then she's like, you know, I, I, I could, I kind of just wonder if it was the, the kid coming face to face with kind of life. And how sometimes just the idea of life can just make you cry, basically, you know, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm paraphrasing. Uh, stuff like that. It's just a lot of beautiful stuff. No theatrics. No theatrics. No you know, deception. It's just so much more realistic. Mm. You know, I, as of course, I think we've said before, we do like 
movies that depict life or imitate life mm -hmm. because art at the end of the day I feel for me yeah. like the best art is the kind it's of art that that, that that depicts life yeah. especially because a lot of us we are afraid to mm -hmm. share what really happens behind closed mm -hmm. doors isn't it yeah. and so if we're afraid to share it is nice to have art because then art can it. you can learn from it yeah. And it's it's just that kind of things that help yeah, you relate. dissect your life yeah, yeah, and very, change you. I loved this movie for that. I loved it for the fact how of how it was a very simple movie, but it just felt like so real. Yeah. And I like the things that they did, you know, like the relationship where he's like, they're both putting their mouths on their eyes. <laughs> yeah. Those are the cute things that we're talking. So yeah. Weird, yeah. Mouth. Like each of them putting their mouths yeah. around their eyes, well, each other's eyes. Yeah. And then. Stuff like that, you know, it's stuff yeah. that people in relationships yeah. do, yeah. like, or saying wavu, yeah. uh, you know. Such good relationship pillow talk stuff. Like, yeah. It was, it's, it's maybe some of the best I've seen in a movie. 10 out of 10 for me, too. I'm just, yeah, yeah, yeah. just watched it. Yeah. Still upset with the fact that they that's, didn't, that's a good they didn't sign, I think. sort yeah. out the marriage. Yeah, you clearly were invested. <laughs> I you was invested, in yeah. Yeah, it's a good sign. So, yeah, yeah 10 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah, have you guys seen it? Ripe tomatoes. It's on. It's it's up there now. It's it's on available. Yeah. 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 See, it's there. Yeah. Uh, well, let us know what you think down in the below comments. And uh, till till next time, we'll see you. Bye. Bye. I'll, this kind of I'll stuff. murder the whole <laughs> <Earth> of <Earth. laughs>